Will New York City ever recover from the pandemic? Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to help navigate this turbulent world. New York is our largest city, and its prospects in the post-pandemic world look bleak. The rot eating away at the Big Apple was underway before COVID-19. People and enterprises are already pulling up stakes because of a serious decline in the Big Apple's quality of life. The litany of woes today is a long one. Much of the Big Apple's real estate industry, a critical part of its economy, is stuck with now a voluminous amount of empty office space as employers and employees have learned the virtues of flexible work arrangements. Sky-high rents were already squeezing small businesses before the pandemic sent many into insolvency. Wall Street has been crucial for New York's economy and the city's budget revenue, but high taxes have firms moving out their operations. The city is suffering an exodus of residents on a scale not seen since the dreadful crime-ridden 1970s. New York's extraordinary success in curbing crime since the early 1990s has come to an abrupt halt as certain politicians and activists wage war against the police department. For the first time in decades, people are afraid of what might happen to them on the streets or in the subways. Homelessness is rising, the city's infrastructure is fraying, New York's school system is appalling, made worse by the mayor and his allies doing all they can to abolish charter schools, most of them light years better than their government-run counterparts, and undermining the city's best high schools. However, New York's decline is not irreversible. What needs to be done is clear. What is not clear is whether the current crop of politicians is capable of turning things around. Most immediate is the city government once again backing up the police department and pursuing effective, community-sensitive methods of making the streets safe again. Without a renewed feeling of public safety, New York won't recover, period. Stop the debilitating talk of more and higher taxes. Do the opposite. A small but meaningful start would be to remove penalties for late payment of property taxes from hotels and others because of the pandemic. Stand up to the Destructive Teachers Union and push for real school choice where education dollars follow the student, not the school. Revive small businesses by sharply scaling back debilitating rules and regulations. Cease the endless array of permissions and licenses for just about doing anything. New York has an election this year for mayor and other city offices. We'll know soon enough that Big Apple can reverse its decline and potential fall. The nation hopes that it does. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again.